there's something I'm going to tell you guys for free here. Every marriage is battling something. Love is an illusion we create in our head. This saga of Amika Iki and his wife that has been in our faces for over one week is becoming disturbing. The interview from the son, from the wife, from the father, from everybody, from releasing voice notes, is disturbing. Let me share with you guys one thing as a woman who has been divorced. <laughs> Couples don't say the truth. You see all this talk, talk, talk within the top. They never talk with and scatter the marriage. And one thing I realize is that a lot of people build illusions and expectations in their head. So when a marriage or a relationship goes south, some of them talk most about the illusions and expectations. Not what really happened. Yes, most people, a lot of people lie when a relationship goes south. That lie is based on the expectation, what they expected the woman to do. They will be saying it as if the woman did it. What they expected the man to do. They will be saying it as if the man did it. There are some times that your exes will say some certain things that never existed. You will not be wondering, when did this one happen? That's what's transpiring between all of them. One thing I have realized is that the social media does not solve problems. Everybody's just monetizing your pain. Every marriage has its wahala. No home is perfect. The only perfection we see on the media is content creators snapping photography in front of three and be disturbing us with content. But in every home, there is fights, there is saga, there is buzzbows, there is one thing or the other. All people are trying to do is manage. Once this thing cannot work, can we just free it? There was a time that when I go for interviews, I talk about my ex-husband. I woke up one day and said, I need to stop talking about this guy. It's as if he's stuck in my head. These days, if you call me for an interview and ask me about my ex, I'll tell you, we couldn't cohabit. I don't need to start going into details. Let these things go. We don't need to go to the media and start explaining what happened. I used to be that person before I go there, explain, 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 explain. Right now, you hear me talk about my ex-husband when I even want to give example. But if I go for interviews, I just believe that there are irreconcilable differences. If you call my ex-husband, he go get in your own way, he go talk, say, blessing, do am. Me, I get the one way he do me. I just believe when this marriage goes south, let's just respect ourselves. That's why I like this Yoruba actress, actor that separated with his wife. He came and said, I better respect us, respect our children. Let's stop watching our dirty lady and outside. These media personalities, they are not therapists. They're not relationship therapists. You guys are so quick to say, oh, blessing you talk too much. Blessing you do this. Blessing you do that. How can you keep secrets? Secret? What is the secret? Secret that you guys go to the media and give them for free? Things that you're supposed to talk to a therapist quietly, you will go and give it to public people, journalists, and you will be training on other social media. What solution have you gotten now from the noise that they are making? What? At the end of the day, all of us, we are mad. There is no solution. At the end of the day, the only thing that can solve the problem is the man and the woman coming together to know whether we want to cohabit or we want to know how to co-parent. You guys just have to come together. This noise doesn't cause anything. Go to the comments and you will see small, small children that their parents are fighting at home giving you advice. My parents fought. They are still living together till today and they are still fighting. That sometimes they will call me, I'll tell them not to call me, I beg. Mom, if you call me again for any relationship advice, you pay for consultation. It's normal. It's just knowing how to manage this thing. If you know, say, you know, if you continue the fight, what can come out? That's the honest truth. But when we come and say these things, people say, we don't like marriage. Marriage is fight. Marriage is grass boost. Marriage is misunderstanding. Just choose the person you want to be fighting with. And the person you want to be forgiven. And that's why the Bible said 70 times 7 times. That 70 times 7 times is not for stranger. It's for your husband and your wife. 
In fact, that major forgiveness is for your spouses. Because you have to learn to manage them. So these things happening on the media, and I see some comments. I get irritated sometimes because everybody could just write for comment and I say they are all good. People are coming from broken homes and battered homes. It is a society that is making us believe that marriage is one. You know, if it's not working, if you can't manage, it's not in people who tell you marriage is not management, marriage is enjoy. All those things are just illusions. Marriage is trying to manage the next person. Marriage is like being in an office with your boss. You hate your boss, but the salary is good. When you think of the salary, you will say, let me just manage this useless man. You see the money, the money, you will smile. That's marriage. So the banter between Emeka Ike, his son, his wife, his everybody granting interview is just it's just insane for me. It's just insane for me. And some people are blaming his son and saying, Go and beg your father. See, children have mind of their own. I'm going to use myself as an example. The very first day I got my son custody, he was five years. Immediately he came to me. I was with him for two days. After two days, the first thing he told me is, Mommy, my daddy used to beat my other mommy. Because by the time I got my son, my ex-husband had remarried. That was the first thing my son told me. My daddy used to beat my other mommy. When my other mommy is back in my other brother, my dad will beat him in the kitchen. At five years. These children, they see. They see. They are not blind. And this is how their brain and their mind get messed up. Sometimes when you see us as single parents, when I go, they curse us, they call us single mother. We no one marry. Some of us just want our peace, our sanity, and we want to grow our children in a good environment. My point is, you see all this noise on social media about relationship, marriage. It goes on in every home. No home is perfect. It's just when you want to bring your own out. So me, I'm going to say, Emekaiki, you're a legend. You're a star. You're somebody that we love and respect. Please. Leave all this interview granting and all these people are just trying to use you to make money. Come back to Lamlight and do your movie. We are waiting for you. Leave all this marriage or no marriage. Let it go. You're remarried. You understand? We didn't even know this. Your wife. You have brought her to Lamlight now. We are now new. We've now known her. You've given her popularity. That's the thing about talking about your exes. When you are a star. And you break up with these exes. Don't talk about them because you be giving them. Papa. We really know this, your wife. Oh. I didn't know her. Pia, she don't come me there. She don't there everywhere. You get. And she came looking posh, looking fine. You have brought her to Lamlight now. The next thing now you hear that she's acting movie. She will start competing with you now. Anybody that wants to get to make it came now will not use this as ex wife. You know. Sometimes we just be giving people fame, free fame. And I beg. That's why me, I stop talking about my ex self. Before they will go and drag him to come and do interview, and you come and use places to see you and come and become famous. And be making money. You have a long care because the marriage is not working. Pack and go. But all this interview trying to explain, these people we never understand. And the annoying part about the media is that we are explaining to children. We're explaining to primary school, secondary school children that don't know the le left to the are the ones on the comment section. Real men will not comment. People who are in marriages will not comment. That's the truth. They will just pass. It's all these pickety pickety children of primary school that are in the comment section writing nonsense. So, is those, are those the ones you want to take advice from? That's why sometimes a relationship well, I just leave it to us on social media because the real people will not even talk. They will just read and we understand what's going on. Every man I would say, okay, to me, everybody at his side. If the marriage don't work, more than rest. I don't do the disturb us for this media. But she go to sleep, they go carry one marriage saga come. Can we the single breathe? Can we breathe and sleep? Okay, ne?
percaya.